and they have on the form male, female, unknown, other. <laughs> Apakaba Indonesia, hello Indonesia. Namasai John Zachary. So before I begin the video, the usual disclaimer. All the views and opinions expressed in this video are my own personal views and in no way represent the views or opinions of pinterpolitic.com. Today's video, I'm going to ask you a question. Are you woke? What do I mean by that? Well, I mean it in the terms from the American political expression, which says a perceived awareness of social and racial injustices and wokeness is all over Europe and the United States of America. And it really is the biggest load of Marxist nonsense you've ever heard in your life. And I'm gonna give you one example of wokeness to start the video off. A friend of mine recently went to the doctors in Australia and as you do when you go to the doctors you have to start filling out the forms and this is an extract I put it up on the screen there for you from the form that he had to fill out this is just a few weeks ago let's examine the form and I try not to laugh so you have the usual birth sex which in other words is what's your gender and they have on the form male, female, unknown, other. <laughs> Bad enough, unknown, not that hard to find out, but other. I'm really interested for any medical expert out there to come back and tell me medically and physically living in the world of reality what unknown and other is please inform me but it doesn't end there no the wokeness in australia is really quite laughable because the form goes on as you can see here to include gender identity yes the identity you have of your gender this is going to a doctor not a pop concert or not going to become an actor or write in a book. No, this is going to see a physical doctor. So going to see a physical doctor where we all know there are actually only males and females, they have on the list male, female, non-binary, gender diverse, transgender, other. There's even something beyond those, other. This is at a doctor's surgery. It's just ridiculous. This is an example of the wokeness that will head its way to Indonesia very soon. Are you looking forward to it? You're no longer male or female. You're male, female and something else. But they don't end it there because they really want to be fully inclusive and complete social justice or nonsense rest of us would say and they ask you for what your preferred pronouns are in other words how do you be like to be addressed he him his she her hers or they them theirs this is not plural they're talking about they're talking about one person so you would appoint address me as they hi they they just went to the shop not he just went to the shop, they just went to the shop. Make sense to you? This is woke. ...by stars and fans on Twitter after posting a string of transphobic tweets. Rowling penned, if sex isn't real, there's no same-sex attraction. If sex isn't real, the lived reality of women globally is erased. I know and love many trans people, but erasing the concept of sex removes the ability of many to meaningfully discuss their lives. It isn't hate to speak the truth. The 54-year-old also tweeted her frustration after seeing an article with a comment that gender non-binary persons menstruate. Repos 
posting it, she penned, people who menstruate. I'm sure there used to be a word for those people. Someone help me out. Rowling's comments were not well received, with fans and famous followers alike slamming her for sharing the allegedly transphobic messages, with one writing, all these trans friends JK Rowling says she has must be exhausted. It's confirmed that a registered child sex offender has been reading to children at a Houston public library as part of its Drag Queen Story Hour. A media spokesperson for the library confirms one of those drag queens, Tatiana Malanina, is really Alberto Garza, a child sex offender. In 2008, he was convicted of assaulting an eight-year-old boy. This is Tatiana Malanina, my sister from Queens of the Week. A lot of the core values of being a drag queen, love, acceptance, joy, laughter, self expression are values that we want to instill in our kids. So I think it's really important that we bring this program and we spread the joy of reading and the joy of just spreading love. <laughs> And shake your butt, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them. It was a first for this branch of the public library, too. The hips on the drag queen go swish, swish, swish. And you, you crouch down into this sort of position here, so your bum's sticking out. Don't be taking this all in. <laughs> and then you just move your bum up and down like that, and that's twerking. What has this world come to? It's come to a world where drag kids actually exist. And people do ketamine on a couch. Now, Peterson says this is about free speech, but A.W. Pete is also a professor at the University of Toronto who says that Peterson's language is abusive. Joining us right now is Professor Jordan Peterson as well as Professor A.W. Pete. Thank you for joining us today. Thanks. Uh, Professor Peterson, let's begin with you. Uh, why are you against the use of alternate pronouns? I'm, not, I'm against the use of, of le legislation to determine what words are that myself and other people are required to utter. But would you use alternate pronouns if a student asked you to? I think I've made my position on that clear already. Well, perhaps not to our audience at home who are just being introduced to this. Would you use alternate no. pronouns? And why not? I, because I don't believe that other people have the right to determine what language I use, especially when it's backed by punitive legislation. And when the words that are being required are the constructions, there are artificial constructions of people I regard as radical ideologues whose viewpoint I do not share. Well, I, we have a graphic to show our audience at home, uh, just some of the pronouns uh, being used or asked to be used as alternates. Among them you see here, uh, Z or Zim, uh, Z or here, Z or Zir, also Hey, uh, or A rather, and Per. So just some of the alternate pronouns there. Uh, Professor Pete, when you hear Professor Peterson saying that this is oppressive, to the real world. Welcome to the world of wokeness. It really has become a joke how these social justice warriors, woke people, are ruining society and putting forth complete nonsense as if it's actually true. Here's a video from years and years and years ago in the UK, the famous Monty Python on the very subject of gender. Take it away, Monty Python. Nobody's fault, not even the Romans, but that he can have the right to have babies. 
find here, Judith. We shall find the oppressors for your right to have babies, brother. Sister. Sorry. What's the point? What? What's the point of fighting for his right to have babies when he can't have babies? It is symbolic of our struggle against oppression. Symbolic of his struggle against reality. All seems very funny, doesn't it? And the Monty Python sketch really is funny. But this subject and the point of gender identity isn't an amusing one. Because what these people are trying to do is conflate physical realities with somebody's perception of themselves, which is a psychological matter. In reality, in science, there are only two genders. If there's a Y chromosome present, you are a male. That's a simple fact. And people are gonna come back with intersex babies again and aberrations on the chromosomal level. Y chromosome present, you're male. That's it, full stop. So why are these people doing this? What's the end goal? Well, I can tell you what the end goal is. It's dehumanization because as I mentioned in my previous video these people are total atheists lack God lack morals and they believe in a transhumanist future and how better to reduce your identity of yourself than telling you that when you're born you're not even born male or female you're actually born and you don't have a gender and it can move around like moving house and today I feel male and tomorrow I feel female and in between and upside down. It's a nonsense. Somebody that wishes to live their life as a male but is a female, fine, you want to do it, enjoy, have fun. But you will always be a male. It's in you at your chromosomal level and you can't have babies, as I've mentioned in other videos. Just like Stan, you can't have babies. But this is what's going on in the world today, and it's all about dehumanization. And it's all leading down a very, very, very ugly path. So what's my point in this video? Am I against transgender people or something like that? No, not at all. Actually, one of the most moving documentaries I've seen in my life was about a transgender man in France who basically lost all his family and his wife because he could no longer live as a male. He felt that he was female. That's a very sad thing. I'm not against anyone who feels an overriding desire or need to live as something other than they really are in physical reality. It's fine. Everybody does that. Everybody has masks they wear. And if they feel comfortable living that life, then let them do it. But when it comes to the point of reality, when it comes to the point of presenting to doctors and asking for a pap smear when you're a male, which they allow in the UK, there I draw the line. There I say, that's enough. Live and let live. Let these people live how they want. If you want to identify as a duck bill platypus, go ahead, enjoy. But when you go to a doctor, you are either male or female and don't waste their time. All this nonsense, like I showed you at the beginning of this video on that form, is just window dressing. It's just nonsense. And it speaks to a much greater agenda. And that agenda is transhumanism. I want to live forever as information, because that's what transhumans are, mum. Not male or female, better. Where I'm going, there's no life or death, there's only data. They just want you as a corporate number, a thing that does what you're told and shut up. No religion, no gender, no family, no country, no nothing. Welcome to Woke World. It's great, isn't it? In Indonesia, you have a faith-based society, you still have the family unit, you still have a belief in God and a moral compass. I suggest you hold on to that tightly with both hands because the wokeness from the West will be heading your way. The people that are woke are actually asleep. They're asleep to the hideous agenda 
behind all these lies. So you stay alert, Indonesia. This is me, John Zachary. Please follow us on Twitter, on Instagram, and Facebook if you must. And I look forward to seeing you again, Indonesia. Take care.